Social reinforcement is a powerful facilitator of human learning. Think about how interacting with a person, for example a teacher, tell us about our performance and help us adjust our behavior. Contextual interpersonal cues, like facial emotional expressions, engage arousal and reward punishment mechanisms that promote learning. This socially reinforced learning critically depends on temporal parietal and secondarily on frontal limbic hubs, which are related to associative learning and social cognition. However, most studies in the field have been performed in healthy participants being correlational in nature. In this work, we use different neurodegenerative models coupled with multimodal brain measures to study socially and non-socially reinforced learning. A validated task, electrophysiological signatures and neuroimaging recordings were used to assess this phenomenon in healthy participants and people with behavioral variant frontotemporal dementia, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. This is the first work to assess socially reinforced learning with a validated feedback-based learning task that combines social and non-social cues in neurodegenerative models that differentially impact social cognition, feedback-based learning and associative learning, combining behavioral, electrophysiological and neuroimaging measures. The task required participants to judge the category of repeatedly presented three-digit numbers and learn, across different cycles, the correct association upon receiving feedback via socio-emotional facial expressions in the social condition or color circles in the non-social condition after each judgment. During behavioral performance, we tracked ongoing electrophysiological signatures of feedback-based learning via the medial frontal negativity potential, that is a sensitive marker of cognitive demands and on-the-fly adjustments. Finally, we investigated gray mother volume correlates of socially reinforced learning through voxel-based morphometry. Behavioral results revealed that, in healthy participants, learning was facilitated by social feedback relative to non-social feedback. This effect was specifically impaired in frontotemporal dementia and Parkinson's disease, suggesting these groups do not benefit from social feedback during learning. In Alzheimer, deficits across social and non-social conditions indicate a generalized learning disruption. Electrophysiological results reveal increased medial frontal negativity modulations indexing both social feedback and learning in healthy controls. Such modulations were selectively disrupted in frontotemporal dementia. Neuroanatomical correlates of socially reinforced learning reveal extended temporal parietal and frontal limbic associations in all groups. Specific temporal parietal correlates in frontotemporal dementia and predominantly frontal limbic correlates in Alzheimer while no cortical correlates were found in Parkinson. In contrast, non-socially reinforced learning was consistently linked to medial temporal regions. Our novel multimodal evidence suggests that similar socially reinforced learning deficits may be rooted in distinct anatomofunctional disruptions across different neurodegenerative diseases. In frontotemporal dementia, Neurodegeneration and lack of medial frontal negativity modulations may explain their failure to use social cues to improve learning, possibly related to social prediction error coding alterations. In contrast, preserved social medial frontal negativity modulations and lack of cortical correlates in Parkinson indicate a different pathophysiological mechanism, possibly related to frontostriatal dysregulations. Finally, temporal parietal degeneration in Alzheimer may explain their generalized associative learning deficits and lack of social feedback facilitation beyond preserved frontal correlates. In sum, our study reveals convergent multimodal evidence of dissociable effects of learning and social feedback, as well as specific patterns across each neurodegenerative model consistent with 
core social deficits in frontotemporal dementia, subtle disruptions in ongoing feedback mechanisms in Parkinson, and generalized learning alterations in Alzheimer. These new transnosological insights carry clinical implications related to the synergic assessment of social cognition and learning, which proves to be essential for differential diagnosis.